Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, we talked about it in my sit and talk of doing a series on the Protestant Catechism, if I can say it right. Protestant Catechism. So, this is a book that I found at the used bookstore we have. I have to drive like 45 minutes away to get to it. But um, Catechism on the Doctrines, Usage, and Holy Days of the Protestant Episcopal Church is what this is by Mrs. D.C. Weston. Now, looking at the definition, because I had to look up some stuff, uh, for Catechism, a form of instruction by means of questions and answers, particularly in the principle of religion. An elementary book containing a summary of principles in any science or art but appropriately in religion, reduced to the form of questions and answers, and sometimes with notes, explanations, and references to authorities. Right. As we go through here, they don't reference authority that much as far as the ultimate authority. So, um, I look at Catherine. So, bottom line, this book is just all it is is it has different topics and it does question and answers. But it's a catechism for the Protestants. Okay. Now, doctrine. We know doctrine in a general sense, whatever is taught. Hence, a principle or position in any uh, science, whatever is laid down as true by an instructor or master. We know, major, we talk about major doctrine. God is our master. He's laid this down. This is truth. Okay. So, it's going to talk about doctrine, but we're going to see if it doesn't line up with Scripture. Okay. Uh, usage. Uh, use or long continued use, but the biggest two words here in the definition is that for us is custom and practices. That's what the usage is here when it talks about what's going to be instructing. And remember, this is for elementary, is for kids. Right. And then holy days. Right. Remember, we talked about this. There's holy days and there's holidays. And as we're going to go through here, they have tons of what they call holy days. But you won't find it backed in Scripture. They're not holy days. They're holidays. They're man-made days. Okay. Remember, a holy day, by description and definition in the Bible, a holy day is a day that God ordains. He sets it apart, whether it's one day or multiple days. He tells you when, why, and how to observe those days. And there's always a punishment if you fail to observe those days, doing the how, when, and why, understanding those things. So we're going to get through here. We're, like I said, this is just an intro. New York, uh, E. P. Dutton and Company, 713 Broadway is where it was actually printed. Uh, I'll show you There's a, some pictures of the book as we're talking. They got a picture in here, because I don't have a camera above the two, like some of the brothers do to do uh, pictures of here. But they got a picture of the Canterbury Cathedral inside the book. It's the sixth edition, revised and enlarged. Um, I talked to you about by Mrs. D.C. Weston. Entered into the Act of Congress in the year 1870. Okay? In the office of the library, Burian of Congress at Washington. Okay, stereotype printed and bound at the book manufacturer of the Claremont Manufacturing Company. I found no copyright in here. Okay, there was no copyright in here. Maybe, remember, it's, um, what did I say? Sixth edition. This is the sixth edition. So there might be like a 50th edition where someone came in and said, on that edition, we have a copyright. But this is old enough, it doesn't have a copyright. Okay. So, uh, the back here, uh, I'll show a picture. There's someone wrote in here for St. John Episcopal Sunday School, uh, Bramwood, I think it is, Bramwood or Bramwood. But on the back it says, we invite the attention of clergymen, superintendents, and teachers to our library and instruction books for the Sunday School of the S. Episcopal Church. I have a hard time saying that. Um, so, making this a special department in our business, we have been careful 
in the selection of our pu publications, it's being our aim to issue books healthy and churchly and their tone at the same time fresh and entertaining to children. Our list embraces all the publication of the Church Book Society as well as our own and contains over 700 volumes of children's book books. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing, brothers and sisters in Christ, this is the only book you need. All right? You want to teach your children the Word of God? Why don't you actually use the Word of God? Over 700 children's book, and they try to make it fun and churchly in their tone. As we're going to find out, one of the biggest things this pushes is battle buildings. The authority of man, the church hierarchy, not the authority of God and Scripture. Okay. So this is just an intro to get us started. So I can explain what the book is, show you some pictures of the book. So then when we get started, I'm just going to be using notes. We're going to go over questions and we're going to show their answers. And then we're going to show God's answers. Now don't get me wrong, the way Satan works is he always mixes in truth with lies. Truth, and this has lies in it, but it's going to mix the two. So some of the questions that get asked, they answer them correctly. Some of them, they kind of deceive you in their answer. Yeah, they grab scripture, but they misuse scripture. But most of the time, they don't even use scripture. They just, get, they want the child to assume what they're saying is truth. When you have a child, brothers and sisters in Christ, and you're raising them in an admonition of the Lord, you want to teach them that it's because the Bible says so. Why is this? Because the Bible says so. Why can't I lie? The Bible says you're not to lie. You have to honor your parents, mother and father. When you tell them they're not to do this, it's sinful and wicked. Well, why? Because God's word says so. You always make them and start them out with understanding that this is God's authority in their life. You know, they're not saved, but you understand that's why your foundation of your home is a godly home and God-fearing home, a Christian home, is because this is their, your foundation. When you start going to 700 <laughs> books, what is that doing? That's getting kids away from this. That's getting parents away from this. Uh, from this. And over to this stuff. So, let's go ahead and let's uh, get into it. So, this was the intro, and I'll see you in the next part.